Okay, so we're here live with Chef Jeremy Marshall at famous Aqua Grill restaurant here in New York City on Spring Street, 210 Spring Street, in the corner of 6th Avenue and Spring Street. So, Chef Jeremy, I have a couple of questions for you. Um, Fire away. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> what led you to the restaurant business? Uh, what led me to the restaurant business? Let's see. Well, I was very young and um, I grew up on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. And I guess when I was turned 14, the day I turned 14, I was, I was always looking to make money and work. So the day I turned 14, I went to a new restaurant in my neighborhood called well, Peretti's Italian Cafe on 73rd and Columbus. Uh, and it was uh, fairly new, just open, and I asked for a job. And basically, they gave me a job as a delivery boy, delivering pizza and Italian food. And then in between deliveries or, you know, before or after, you know, in the beginning of the day and at the end of the day, I would help the prep guy uh, prepping food. And then, you know, slowly became more interested and, and became a bus boy. And then, you know, went into the kitchen more so after that. Wow, so no one in your family was- Well, not quite. I mean, my grandmother had a restaurant before I was born in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It was a gourmet French restaurant basically it was a truck stop because it wasn't you know in Sioux Falls South Dakota I guess I guess the truckers are probably more of a clientele than anybody else anyhow so she and her husband had a restaurant when I didn't even know about that when I was growing up because um, she came to live with us when I was when I was born and then uh, so she had that years before I was around. But I guess growing up with her good cooking sort of, you know. Inspired you? <laughs> Are any of your dishes here inspired by? No. No? So what is your favorite dish? What would you say is the dish that most typifies aqua bro? Uh, it's a difficult question. What dish typifies aqua bro? Well, I'd say my, I mean, the one dish that I've been doing s since I became a chef is the falafel crusted uh, Atlantic salmon. So I would say that's probably the dish, and, you know, and that I, I would say is, you know, it's, it's been going on for years. And I, when I made it, I ate it, I thought it was amazing, and then we started serving it to customers, and people would tell me that's the best salmon I've ever had in my life. And so I said, I'm not changing this forever. Sure. And so that's the way it is, we, we keep it. So, but it's such a strange combination of flavors. How did you, if it wasn't inspired by your family, how did you stumble upon? Well, uh, I was working years ago in a restaurant and, uh, you know, like most chefs, when you get off of work at midnight, you're looking for something to eat, you're starving, you know, like you're around food all night and you're just like, you don't want to, you don't want to deal with any of that food, but you want some other kind of food. So before Blue Ribbon came along and that was sort of like the chef's outpost, I mean, we're going years before that. Uh, I went to Mamoun's Falafel on McDougal Street. Okay and I would get a falafel with hummus. And so I was like, mmm, I love it. You know, it had tomatoes and, and you know, a lot of, sort of like a lemony tahini sauce and, and it had hummus and then it had falafel. So all those combinations were there and we just stuck a piece of salmon sort of in the middle of it and there we go. Voila. And voila. History was made, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, would you ever consider revealing some of those recipe secrets? I mean, anyone can. Bake You're gonna have to tune in to future issues, future future cast podcasts, whatever we're doing. Yeah. That's awesome. But yeah, no, I, I'm happy to part with the recipes. You, you know, we always. I have a philosophy that you know, share whatever I have, and you know, 
I've even had people on the phone trying to recreate some things and ask me, oh, something's not right, and we'd ask, you know, so I walk yeah. them through it. But. Um, just real quick, how did you discover 210 Spring Street? Well, it turns out in 1990, I discovered it um, because I was a chef here for Richard Picasso, who was Pablo Picasso's grandson at a place, a, pre, a, a previous incarnation in the same space. You know, and I had worked for him for about a year and I knew the space very well. Turned out we shared some mutual friend or acquaintance. And when he was looking to get out, I was looking to get in. So I, you know, I bought the restaurant from him and changed it over, and that's 22 years ago next month. Wow, <laughs> 22 years ago. That's insane. It's a, it is insane. That's insane. It is. All right, well, I won't keep you much longer or any longer, um, so we're going to be doing uh, an interview with you, if we're lucky, every other Monday, is that correct? Sounds that's, good. Yeah? So around 3 o'clock every Monday, tune in live on your Facebook page at Aqua Grill. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.